One of High's key priorities is to create the, the Highlands and Islands into a truly digital region and contribute very significantly to the achievement of Scotland's wider aspirations for digital connectivity. At the moment, our key um, areas of activity are the rollout of next generation broadband across the whole of the Highlands and Islands in every local authority area. We are rolling out high speed broadband to uh, a lot of Scotland as part of our two and a half billion investment by BT across the whole of the UK. Um, and that's already uh, deployed in there and it's happening in Inverness as we speak and it will come to some of the other larger communities in the Highlands and Islands under our own investment but critically um, having signed a uh, contract a partnership with Highlands Islands Enterprise, the ambition is to take high-speed fibre broadband to about 84% of the high population between our investment and the partnership we've got with High over the next few years. Over the, the next few years, we would like to get everybody in the Highlands and Islands onto the, the very best telecommunications, the very best broadband, super fast broadband. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a big task and it'll take uh, a number of years but at the first stage we've recently entered a contract to take uh, next-gen broadband to 84% of premises in the Highlands and Islands. It's a massive rollout for High. It's, it's, it's pretty much the most complicated rollout for any of the bids in the UK. Uh, it's certainly the biggest area that we're rolling out to uh, in any of the UK. Um, but it's going to make a massive difference to the people of the Highlands and Islands. We're going to be covering 156,000 homes as part of this. Community Broadband Scotland is a new initiative. It's a £5 million initiative to help communities that are currently receiving limited or no broadband to help them deliver local projects to bring better connectivity to their areas. project in telehealth. Father Fine doing you, Shadavish, can follow us in high. It is Maras famous at the one of the planes, the hospital, it's on Ganati Vinagin, the examination. It is Hugh there, you'd be rooting to the Tahiti, I can high. It is famous at the Ogolagan hospital, it's on Rudadolan, a station. You are talking to the television to the internet. We've already run a number of courses from Shetland all the way down to Argyle and everywhere in between. So we've we've talked so far to over 150 businesses and obviously we hope to do a lot more going forward. We tend in the government to spend a lot of time um, you know, doing a lot of kind of forecasting and getting a, a sense of what the economic impacts will be and obviously that's important. But I think um, in terms of next generation broadband infrastructure, it's almost the kind of it's the kind of innovation that we stimulated by having fibre to the premise, by having that kind of connectivity that people can actually go away and develop innovative content, innovative services. And I think that's the sort of thing that will drive economic growth increasingly in future. Highlands and Islands Enterprise and Business Gateway are working together to provide one-to-one -one support to businesses across the region to help them understand how they can make the best use of broadband. And we're also working with a national charity called Citizens Online to help individuals and communities understand how they can make the best use of technology. There's a few different places we can offer advice. We've got um, some online resources at digitalhighguide.co.uk where there's over 150 guides telling you all about how to buy a computer, how to build a website and where to get more information. Or if you visit the Digital High website at hie.co.uk forward slash digital, then that gives you information about all the support that we can offer. In terms of employment, I think it opens up opportunities to people to live in different areas and, and to deliver services which require high bandwidths to, to other areas across the globe and also to access ha um, homeworking opportunities which are being de um, developed and, and investigated by a number of business services operators in our region. The next gen broadband services it, it, uh, it will uh, cost a bit more than some people are paying. The, the difference is if, if you're on a, on a sort of package 10 to 15 pounds a month if you want to, 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 to jump up to the, the more expensive or the faster services, they will be a bit more expensive. But if you're used to already paying £25 a month, you won't see much, if any, increase in, in, in costs. So uh, it's, it, 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 to, for many people, they'll be getting more for the same amount of money.